Red Bull is somewhat of an oddity among the teams in F1. Their parent company is not a car manufacturer, but their F1 team still has the resources of one and operates in a manner similar to any other factory team. They have two teams in F1, their track hosts two F1 races, and from next year onwards they will be making their own power units. Some have suggested that Red Bull may have bitten off more than they can chew with that last one. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has now defended the team's choices while speaking to Motorsport Total. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Red Bull defends what some would call foolish investment. Horner began by explaining how age is not an issue for Red Bull owner Dietrich Mateschitz and advisor Helmut Marko, while also joking about Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff's age, who is only 49. No, absolutely not. They're both in good shape. Maybe it's the mountain air. You wouldn't think Toto was 65. They are in good shape and they are still highly motivated when it comes to Formula 1. He then cited former F1 CEO Bernie Eccleston as an example of how age does not have to be a shortcoming. It's great to hear that Bernie is still quite active at 90. It just shows that age, whether young or the other end of the scale, doesn't have to be a hurdle. He then looked at the scale of Red Bull's involvement in Formula 1. Two teams, of course the Austrian Grand Prix, then this year the Styrian Grand Prix, and now this enormous investment, which some would call foolish, to produce our own engine. He signed off by explaining why they have been able to do all of this. That's Red Bull to dare to do what others say is impossible and become an independent engine manufacturer. These developments would not have been possible without Dietrich's drive and without Helmut's drive. Fast feed. Former F1 driver Juan Pablo Montoya thinks that Red Bull's Max Verstappen has done a very good job so far. The hardest thing for him this year is that he is in a new situation. He's always been the hunter, not the one everyone else is hunting. It's great for him that he's in this situation right now, But if you're the one being hunted, you need to start approaching things a little differently. For example, drivers who in the past were not so aggressive in a mutual duel can now suddenly be very aggressive. We can see that with Lewis Hamilton, Montoya surmised. Retired F1 world champion Jensen Button has revealed that one thing he hasn't been able to overcome is driving a bad car. That's his weakness. Lewis and Fernando Alonso can get into a bad car and get more out of it than he can, Button added. McLaren CEO Zach Brown thinks that his driver Lando has really matured. He came to the team as a rookie and was a very mature driver. If you look at other rookies that come here, they often had accidents. They were fast, but exceeded the limit too often. Lando doesn't do that. He revealed that they encouraged him and said it's okay if things go wrong once in a while. What they saw was that he got even faster, was able to stretch his elbows, but still kept the car on the track. Aston Martin team principal Otmar Safnauer has divulged that the upgrades to their factory and wind tunnel will take place after the 2022 season. For the 22 season, they will use the facilities they have now. It takes more than two years to build a wind tunnel, and in about a year and a half, their new factory will be operational. They have hired a few people. Some have already started, others will start soon. They've grown by 150 people since the days of Racing Point, which is quite a lot. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff got annoyed in Baku, and that is not something that's normally happening to him. On reflection, he wants to concentrate his focus on the team and on himself, rather than be distracted by noise. Haas team principal Gunter Steiner knew that his drivers came well prepared from Formula 2, but what he realised is how big the step actually is from Formula 2 to F1. He would say that for everybody, and then, if you go back and look at the guys who came in from F2, they all took a little bit of time to get used to it. It's not only the driving, it's the whole surrounding. And he further thinks that on the driving side, they both catch up quicker than he thought they would, but the rest of it, it takes a bit of time to get accustomed to. Is Red Bull's decision to make their own power units too ambitious? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.